Hey guys, Rachel Norris here with Huda Thunk It Creative Designs. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over how to age stainless steel hardware with products that you probably already have in your own home. The hardware that you see here is actually from a set of metal farmhouse chairs Joe and I recently purchased that we will be pairing up with the primitive carpentry style farmhouse table that Joe's currently building for our house. First things first, we're going to gather our supplies. And don't forget your mixing bowl and spoon. Starting with our stainless steel hardware, followed by the distilled white vinegar, three tablespoons of table salt, three tablespoons for the first portion, and three tablespoons for the second portion, so six tablespoons total. Hydrogen peroxide, and that's it guys. And now that you've gathered your supplies, it's time to start mixing. Add one and a half tablespoons of table salt into your mixing bowl. Fold in your hardware. I bet Martha nor Betty have ever got to say that. Pour in just enough vinegar to cover the surface of the hardware. And fold in the rest of that salt. At this point, you'll have somewhat of a murky mixture, but stir, stir, stir. You really want to get it mixed up well, and then you wait five hours. So here's a quick clip, guys, of the vinegar already starting to eat away at the finish. This is within seconds of the vinegar being poured and stirred. for the focus. It'll clear up here in a second. There we go. And from this point of view, you can see that it's already started to lose some of that bluish tint that it had, which was part of the original finish. And here we have a two hour update. The blue tint is pretty much completely gone. That blue color that you see towards the top of that photo is actually from the glass itself. And despite the patience that it took, I actually made it the full five hours. Okay hey guys, at this point you're going to drain the vinegar, hold in another three tablespoons of table salt. Do not rinse your hardware. This is vital for the chemical reaction that's about to happen. Now you're going to fold in your hydrogen peroxide, enough to cover the surface of the hardware. Notice the color change? That's why we don't rinse our hardware. Now we're going to mix well. Then allow the hardware to sit in the peroxide for up to 30 minutes. No longer than that, guys, this is really important. It will rapidly rust and it can cause your hardware to weaken. I also would like for you to note that I removed mine roughly after five minutes because I just wanted a slight patina to mine. And we're gonna be using ours on another project that we also plan to distress, so I want it to match in the level of distressing. At this point, guys, you can already see that the hydrogen peroxide is doing what it does best. It's frothing and foaming. The hardware has been in the mixture for approximately five to 10 seconds, no longer at this point, and we've already got color change. If you'll look really close, you can see the patina already starting to form. Once you guys are happy with your level of patina, you're going to drain, rinse well, and dry. You then have the option to spray with a sealer to ensure that you stop the aging process. I have to stress this, you have to stop the aging process, otherwise it will continue to rust over time and with any moisture exposure. And here you have the before, during, and aged. 
Guys, I could not be happier with this finish. It is exactly what I was going for. But I do have to mention that this is not just a finish. It is actually resting. So if you do not seal it, anything that it comes in contact with, it will transfer rust onto. So just keep that in mind. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video so that you don't miss out on future videos. And don't forget to click the bell icon so that you'll be notified of future videos. Also guys, don't forget to check out our Facebook and our Instagram for daily content. And leave any comments, questions, or suggestions that you guys may have below. We would love to read all of your suggestions for future content, answer questions, and reply to comments. And one more thing, don't exit just yet, because in the next clip you'll see a preview of our next video. As you can tell, they're already being held together with some pretty awesome distressed hardware. However, unfortunately, the chairs are not as awesome. Instead of distressing the right way, they've actually been distressed with watered down black paint. So we're going to fix that, but this time we're going to do it with an entirely different aging process. So be on the lookout for that video because that's another one you're not going to want to miss. Anyway, thanks again guys for watching and we'll see you in the comments. Bye guys.